this video is to supplement what we are doing in class. Um, so I picked, well I created these six, one, two, three, four, five, six examples because they highlight different things about the law of sine and law of cosine that I think um, is important. So we're going to jump in and just get started and see what happens. Um, this is the first video, notice my paper is blank. Um, so with all of these, the first thing I want to do is draw a triangle and figure out what's going on. And I'm not overly concerned if my triangle is to scale, um, but I do need things, here's, this is 110 degrees, obviously not to scale, it should be obtuse. Um, little a is always across from big A, and then angle B is 57. Uh, and so the first thing that I want to do as I get started on these, um, I need to make sure that my calculator is not in radians, that my calculator, I don't know what I was doing there, um, my calculator is in degrees. So if you're using the Casio, I'm not going to tell you how to do this during the test and I'm not going to remind you, so it's, it's important that you do it. Um, go to setup and then down to angle, you want to choose to be degrees. Okay. So um, the first piece that I can do, I know that my whole triangle adds up to 180, so if I subtract away those two angles that I know, I know the third angle has to be 13 degrees. So that's um, an easy way to start on this particular problem. Um, sometimes they'll tell you to solve the triangle. Okay, and if they say something like solve the triangle, what they mean is they want you to find all six pieces of information, um, all three angles and all three sides. Okay, so on this one, I have, I know all of my angles and I know one side length. So I want to use the law of sines. So we can say um, sine of A, in this case, sine of A is one, um, A, angle A is 110 over 15 is equal to, well, let's find B first. Sine of B over little b. And then when I multiply here, I have, um, well, B sine of 110 is equal to 15 sine of 57. So B would be equal to 15 sine of 57 all over, where did it go, sine of 110. Um, I use my calculator to help me out. I'm going to make that fraction and say 15 sine of 57 all over sine of 110. And now I expect a side length that's not too far away from 15. Um, and one way to know that if, uh, um, always check to make sure that your answers make sense. Um, and so, but, and I can, and if it doesn't, that's where I check to see if it's degrees or radians. Okay, so I'm already in degrees. I remember to change that and I have my first answer. Let's go ahead and give three decimal places. I don't know, I'll try and be clear on the directions as to what I want. So B is approximately, maybe we should change this to approximately, 13.387 uh, centimeters. Um, because that's what I just got. Okay, so then, the, then I need to find the other part. And so I can set the same thing up, sine 110 over 15. Sine of A over little a is equal to sine of C sine of 13 all over little c. Okay, so then I end up getting um, 15 sine 13 divided by c is equal to 15 sine of 13 divided by, because when I multiply, I'm skipping that step, I'm sorry. Um, divided by that. All I need to do in my calculator is come change this to 13, right? 15 sine 13 over sine of 110 and I get well, that other side is pretty little. It's uh, 3.591. Okay, and we have solved our first triangle. Um, check for the next video, first triangle number two.